So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the shift that we've seen in content or if you like, the rise of the chicken-sized horse. Now, when we're on shoots, we quite often try and kill some of the time that you spend sitting around at train stations. And one of the games we play is Would You Rather. Would you rather fight a chicken the size of a horse or a hundred horses the size of chickens? The horse-sized chicken used to rule the roost. A single monolithic piece of content that sold the brand with a knockout punch. You put it on your website and everyone would look at it and kind of go, ooh. But things have changed. My turn. Now it's all about the 100 chicken-sized horses because the audience is so overstimulated, so time poor and so transient that the only way they're going to get to experience your message is if you scatter it across the potential areas that you're going to find them. Shane Smith from Vice says that they create 7,000 pieces of content a day and he doesn't really mind if the vast majority of that is a load of rubbish and nobody ever sees it because the environment is so fickle it's difficult to judge what will or won't be successful. And the things that are successful are such a fantastic hit and it makes all the investment in the rest of it worthwhile. It's also a case of being able to create an ongoing narrative around your brand. If you produce a number of pieces of content, it's possible to create a conversation with your audience. This is simply not possible with the monolithic massive chicken approach. It doesn't matter if people don't see every piece of content, because if you've defined your brand's editorial voice, it will be true to you and the narrative makes sense to the audience.